Lord, everybody. We come to celebrate the King. We come to magnify and glorify the name of the Lord. For He is holy, He is righteous, and He is King. Let's celebrate our King. He's the ruler of everything. Let's lift his name on high. Come on, Zion, we praise our King. Let's celebrate.
hallelujah, hallelujah. Got a seed in the ground, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus.
And, and, what, and what the enemy has always been attacking us um, with is, is not understanding who we are in God. Amen. Always want us to look down. Whenever we make a mistake, well, it's me. Like, I, you can't recover. But see, as long as you got breath in your body, you shall recover. Because, because this is the thing, what he don't want us to understand is, God gives every man a measure of faith. Every man that's born into this earth already have God's DNA in him. It's just a matter of growing what he's placed inside. So every day is a challenge. Every day is a struggle. Every day there's something new happening. But see, the thing is, when he, when he gave me this title, he had me go back and think about the children of Israel again. Because the children of Israel, you know, they got freed physically. And they took things physically with them in the wilderness. They did not leave Egypt empty-handed. They, leave, they, they left with wealth. They left with provision. But, but even with that, that wasn't good enough. Because in the wilderness, they discovered something. They discovered that, whoa, we by ourselves. I don't see no trees planted. I don't see nothing growing. All I see is barrenness. So you mean God took us to this place the way we're going to just die? I don't see no life. So what happened was the children of Israel forgot about that, that God promised them that he's going to give them, um, take them to the promised land. But when they got there, he had to send some, some people to, to, to spy out the promised land. But just the thing, be careful on who you take with you when God give you a word. Everybody don't have your best interests. Everybody ain't going to see what God has equipped you to do. You got When God give you a word, you got to trust and believe that he shall perform that thing that he set out for you to do. He shall make provision for you. He shall provide. The whole time, when they was hungry, he fed them. When they was thirsty, he gave them something to drink. But they still wasn't satisfied. When God gave you a word, you did not know you had to go through that process. But you had to go through it. You did not know that you was going to deal with some, some issues that will cause you to lose hope and lose faith. But the thing is, in the midst of that, everybody didn't lose hope. And everybody didn't lose faith. We talk about the children of Israel, but there still was a remnant there that was still believing in God that what God promised he shall provide. And in that, and in that wilderness, what happened was even those that couldn't believe and walk in the promise. They died in the wilderness. But those that believed God. God made even though they was older. But they had to teach the younger. Yeah. What I mean by this is. This, this lesson is, is, is about understanding. That we all have a purpose. In the body of Christ. And when we understand our purpose. Even though you may be as a child. One day you won't be a child always. Right. Because just as that slave mentality, even though you may have children, and your children don't like the rules that you set. See, I'm going somewhere, I'm talking natural, but I'm painting the picture for you. The children don't like the rules that are set, so they rise so against what the parents are saying and teaching. But this is the thing that God has shown us. God is saying, look, I need you to understand this real quick. I need you to understand they won't be a child always. What I need you to do is still plant the word, still water the word, still plant the word, still water the word, because increase is coming. That's a privilege, that's a responsibility that God has given us, but it don't stop there. And just the thing that I love about those that did not allow that slave mentality, mindset, to keep them in the wilderness. What, what happened was Joshua and a few others, they were equipped and said, if God said it, I'm going to believe it. If God spoke it, I'm going to proclaim it. If God said I'm victorious, I'm victorious. If God said I'm a leader and not a follower, I'm a leader and not a follower. If God said I'm a bug and not believe, I'm a bug and not believe. If God said that I will step on the serpent, hey, I'm going to do those very things. And what he's saying is this. He's saying, he saying, he saying, look, even though I had to grow another, another generation in the wilderness, but just the beauty about God, God don't, God don't remain on his promises. What God has spoken in your life, it shall come to pass. That's a privilege. That's a, that's, that's a right. When you 
understand who God is in your life, then you don't operate in unbelief. You operate in belief. You're expecting God to do something. If you sit, you're expecting God to heal. If you're hungry, you're expecting God to feed you. If you if you if you need finances, you're expecting God to provide. If you need shelter, you're expecting God to make a way. In other words, our expectation comes from God and God alone. And what Paul was reminding the church is this about who Jesus is. Uh, I don't need that right now. Uh, who Jesus is. Jesus is the reason we have access. Don't mistake the, the, the don't take for, uh, for granted the, 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 the death, burial, and resurrection. It all it has is a significant purpose. Because if he did not go to the cross, then our sins would still be unforgiven. And if he did not go to the grave, then Satan will still have the keys of, of death and, and hell. In other words, the, the, the penalty of sin was, will be uh, uh, given to each of us. But if he did not go back to the Father, then he wouldn't be able to send the comfort. See, everything had a purpose. See, and that's how we got to look at our relationship with God. Even though I was victorious this day, but the day I made a mistake, but the day he gave me a new day, that don't mean I'm going to stay there I'm going to get back up because God got something new for me. He's always showing us, even though we may deal with whatever we're dealing with, death in the family. We may be dealing with job insecurity. We may be dealing with um, our spouses not talking to each other, or children acting a fool. It does not matter what we deal with, God is still in control. And he's, all he's asking us is to understand that we have rights and privileges. Don't let the enemy make you go backwards. God did not save us that we stay in bondage. He saved us to free us. Who the Son set free is free indeed. God has freed us. He did not put His Spirit in us for us to walk like we don't have no power. He put His Spirit in us so we can walk with the authority that He has given us. Hallelujah. Power to speak life in a dead situation. Power to, 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 to say, Jesus, you are my rock and my fortress. The righteous run in and they are saved. Power to say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Those are rights and privileges. By his stripes, I'm already here. Even though I'm dealing with the situation right now. But that don't mean my now dictate my future. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I have rights and I have privileges. If you understand your rights and privileges, then what happens is, when we come together, there's no isms and schisms in the Bible. Hallelujah. Uh oh What are you talking about? In other words, I'm not just saying I'm concerned about you. I'm actually putting it to action. I'm not letting you will in your, in, in, in your mess. I'm saying, come on. I don't want to know all the business. I'm saying, come on. Let's go to the altar and pray. We're forgetting about God and all the stuff that we're dealing with. The statement is it's funny how they put all these regulations on the church, but the world's still functioning like nothing happened. That's right. That's right. And God is saying, I have given you all the power. Hallelujah. Not the power of fear, but I gave you the power. Hallelujah. Not just any power. I gave you power full of love. So you know how to love you one another. I gave you power of a sound mind. So you know how to have self-discipline. So you know how to act. Hallelujah. So you know that when you're in my presence, you got something to give to me. And I got something that I freely give to you. Mm. Did, did, you did you hear what I heard what I just said? God has something that he freely gives. But all he expects us to do is give something back to him. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I have rights and I have privileges. When you understand your rights and privileges, you don't have to ask nobody, can you serve God? It's already embedded in you. See, that's, the, that's what, uh, uh, when you're building a relationship with God, when you start off, you know, I don't know about you, but I remember when I first said yes to God. I was so excited. Nobody can hold me down. Nobody can tell me to shut my mouth. Nobody can tell me to say, I can't raise my hands. And I, I can't stuff my feet. Nobody can tell me those things. But what I discovered is, 
as we begin to grow in faith, All we right. forget that we, when we first said yes, what happened to that ambition? All right. Yeah. All right. God does not intend for us to grow and lose lose sight of who he is. All right. Glory to God. Growth cannot affect our praise. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We should praise God because who he Hallelujah. is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Whether you, whether you, wherever you go, you should be able to have a praise on your lips, yeah. ready to render to God. If he won't, then who glory to God. Yeah. Yes, this morning, God dropped this song in my spirit. I'm not going to sing it, but I'm just going to say the words to you. Jesus woke me up this morning. Ain't that a blessing? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus woke me up this morning. Ain't that a blessing? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. Hallelujah. Ain't that a blessing? Ain't that a blessing from the Lord? In other words, you got to get to that place that no matter where you are, you got to get praise. Right. When you got rights and privileges, you got to get praise. Right. Hallelujah. Burning on the inside. You don't need nobody to pump you up when we come together. And this is the beauty about it. When we focus on God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We'll find out if you fulfill your purpose and I fulfill my purpose. Right. There's no ism in the body. We're unified. Yeah. And God is being glorified. And guess what happened? Healing is being taken place. Deliverance is being taken place. Hallelujah. Made up minds are being taken place. Hearts are being fixed. Hallelujah. 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 The lame begin to walk. The dumb begin to talk. In other words, God starts doing miraculous stuff in our presence. When you understand your rights and your privileges, hallelujah, nobody can tell you that there ain't no God. When you understand your rights and privileges, because there's something living inside of you that he gave every man, and that's faith. Hallelujah. And when you activate that faith, he said no man can pluck you out of his hand. So no matter where you go, you're still in God's hand. Even if you're struggling in your walk, you're still in God's hand. Even though you may not understand where to go left or where to go right, you're still in God's hand. Even though sickness may attack your body, you're still in God's hand. No matter where you go, you got rights and privileges. And the reason you have rights and privileges is because of Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. Jesus is the reason that we come together. Jesus is the reason that we can get in God's presence. Jesus is the reason that we have access. You don't have just part access. You have total access. Hallelujah. He said, what's that we bind on earth? Then we bind in heaven. What's that we loose on earth? Then we loose in heaven. Understand your rights and privileges. We have the power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When we walk by faith, we have the power to turn the world upside down again. When we walk by faith, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Understand who, why you have those rights. It's because you're not a slave. Hallelujah. You're a son and a daughter of the Most High God. The reason you have those rights because you, you have it. You, you are heir. In other words, you got something that is promised to you that you can count on. It's the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Yeah. You, you got something that, that, that he desires for us to have, and that's the kingdom. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is at hand. Hallelujah. You don't need no meat. You don't need no drink. All you need is the spirit. Hallelujah. Yeah. And they that are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Understand, this is the word. We got to stop speaking nonsense. We got to start speaking the word one with to another. Encourage each other in the faith. All right. Lord. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. When I'm looking out in the audience, I'm looking at every seed of God. Right. I'm not looking at the stage. I'm looking at every seed. All right. Hallelujah. You may not be first for walking in your purpose today, but tomorrow is a new day. All right. Hallelujah. And the God that I serve is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ever ask or imagine. I'm speaking word right now. Hallelujah. I hope y'all get on board because we got rights and privileges. I don't need the organ to pack my beat. I don't need the drum to beat for me because in my heart, God is the reason. Hallelujah. That we have what we have. If you want to know why you got his spirit, God gave it. Hallelujah. If you want to know why you're able to overcome every bad situation, God did. Yeah. Come on, man. If you want to know why you woke up this morning, God did. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. From this day forward, we got to stop allowing the natural man to dictate how we believe. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I hope y'all get 
preach is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes, sir. Preach, preach. From this day forward, we got to stop allowing the natural man to dictate how we believe. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you understand your rights and privileges, hallelujah, even though you may have a headache, you still want to get on your knees and pray. Hallelujah. 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 And you're going to press your way. Even though you may not be feeling good in your body, somebody may have a different issue, you may have another. But just because of who God is, hallelujah, it will cause you to cry out and say, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know. Then you begin to use those words that Paul used, that Jesus used in the garden. Abba, Father, which are in heaven, I be thy name. That kingdom come, that will be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You begin to speak. God's presence, hallelujah. No matter where you are, hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, people getting discouraged because of the building. But just like the building that God said he was going to dwell in, hallelujah. We come together in the building, the worship of God. But these earth investors, everybody trust themselves. Hallelujah. God came to live in these earth investors. Glory, 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 hallelujah. That's where the spirit of God is. I am going to I won't go sit down, and I won't go sit down. That's where. That's where the spirit of God is. Inside of you is God's spirit. Don't let the enemy think that he done left. Hallelujah. He's still there. All you got to do is stir up again. All you got to do is stir it up. All you got to do is stir it up. Hallelujah. If you're looking for a new gift, you don't got the wrong gift. The gift never left. God is still there. Hallelujah, Jesus. You won't worry about Hallelujah. Understand you got rights and privileges. And because of those rights and privileges, even when you don't know what to pray for, the Spirit of God in the seal of your behalf. Hallelujah. The moment they go in that cannot be uttered. But he knows the way we should go. He knows the trials that we face. He knows our ups and our downs. He knows where we lay down, where we rise. He knows where we was last night and where we are at this present moment. There's no place that we can run from this place. Understand your rights and your privileges. Even though we may be dealing with death in the family, understand who God is. Death has no power. Hallelujah. Let me say it again. Death has no power. Hallelujah. Jesus has. Hallelujah. If you want to know who got the power, Jesus got If you want to know who controls everything, Jesus does. If you want to know how much salvation is in the name of Jesus, you got to know that because of him, we're not just sons and daughters, we're heirs and joint heirs with Christ. And just as Christ suffered in the body, but he also glorified the glorious body, we shall glorify, be glorified with but we have to trust. We have to believe. We have to stay committed. No matter what we go through in this life, we must trust, we must believe, and stay committed. We must commit, trust, and believe. Believe, trust, and be committed. Because what the enemy want to do, he want to us to lose hope in either one of those phases. And you know when we lose hope in either one of those phases, let's be for real, it throws us off track. Yeah. So what God is saying is this, when well, he used Paul to encourage the Romans church, I did not give you the spirit of bondage again. See, when God called light the shining darkness, he brought the light out of darkness. He didn't bring the light in darkness. He brought the light out of darkness. So what we have to do is learn to shine our light in whatever situation we're in. It may seem dark, but watch God shine. Hallelujah. 
The race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to those that endure to the end. Don't lose sight of your promise. You have rights and you have privileges. You have rights and you have privileges. I have a right to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have a privilege to enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise and be thankful unto him and bless his name. I have a privilege to bless his name at all times and his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. I have a privilege. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I have a privilege. Hallelujah. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I have a privilege. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I have a privilege that by his stripes I am healed. I have a privilege because if I walk in the spirit, I won't fulfill the lust of this flesh. And this flesh can't control me no more because I'm trusting in God. And I'm leaning out to my own understanding. But in all thy ways, I'm acknowledging him and he shall direct thy path. I have a right to praise him. And it's a privilege and an honor to give him thanks. Because he woke me up this morning. He told me in my right mind. He started me on my journey. He put he put moving in my feet so I can run this race. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I got a right and I got a privilege. I'll no longer let the enemy tell me I can't praise God. I no longer sit on his glory because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I'm no longer coming to his presence without thanksgiving. I'm going to come with my heart filled with praise. I'm going to be thankful unto him and bless his name. I'm no longer allowed the enemy to make me succumb to the pity of this world because I don't put no confidence in this flesh. I put my confidence in God. I have a right and a privilege. I have a right to stand on my feet and give God praise. I'm not pumping nobody up. I ain't putting no oil on nobody. I'm telling you right now, today is the day. If you really want to get to that, that next move with God, lift your hands and stand on your feet. We got a choice to keep in a God that glorifies. Hallelujah. Speak the word in season and out of season. Hallelujah. When you're up, when you're down, speak the word. Hallelujah. Trust in the spirit. Be moved by the spirit of God. There's one Lord. There's one faith. There's one baptism. In the name of Jesus, speak life. Touch yourself and say, I got a right and a privilege. And those that are listening, Even in your homes, you have a right and a privilege to praise God even right where you are. Don't let the enemy tell you God can't hear you. All you got to do is open your mouth and just believe that he is a reward of those that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Hallelujah. It's the highest praise. Ha Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where is the praise and worship? God has been good. He's been real good. What more have he had to do for you? To get you to praise him. What more he had to do to get you to open your mouth and walk in your presence and forget Hallelujah. God is good. And his mercy is good forever. Hallelujah. Oh, magnify the Lord. And let us exalt his name together. What shall we bring up unto God? Because all of him is in his benefits is yea, amen. All his benefits in him is yea, amen. What shall we bring up unto our God? I refuse to let the world praise the idol more than I praise my God. I refuse whatever I will up to create. I refuse to let them I praise be praising my God. The last I changed with Moses, go right before Pharaoh, 
and they put their guns against our gun. Hallelujah. They had no power. They couldn't even stand against one servant that God gave. And they had two. So one can chase. Hallelujah. One can chase. Hallelujah. One can chase. But two can chase again. Hallelujah. The Spirit lives inside of each and every one of us. Throw that man. Throw that spiritual man. Hallelujah. The arms is all open, but I'm asking you to grow that spiritual man. Grow that man. Stop that that that, that, that carnal man have control. Grow that spiritual man. And watch what God do. Watch what you already have done. Hallelujah. I don't care if somebody knows the mistakes that you made on last night. Because you made it this far. And you open your eyes. It's a new day to set down. It's another opportunity to get it right with God. None of us have the ability to save nobody. That's God's job. What is our job? To give Him praise. Desire to come to the altar and join me in prayer. This ain't about if you dot every eye and cross every T. This is about growing in faith. Wherever you are right now, if you desire more of God, if you desire a closer walk with Him, Mother, hallelujah, you stepped out on faith. Faith is the substance. And the evidence of things you hope for. By it, elders attain a good report. You hope, you share. When you hope, you share. Anybody else catching what, what the Spirit of God is saying? When you have hope, you share. Be more than a hope. Come to the altar right now. We expect God to 
taking us to the next level. We expect you to grow our faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.